Hey everyone, how you doing on HexDSL? I was like, hey, well that's the wrong one. Hey everyone, how you doing on HexDSL? That is working now at least. I don't know what's up about it. Um, anyway, let's talk about you, what's it called? Let's talk about Yomu. Yomu is an e-reader and I really like it. It costs you $5.99 to activate cloud syncing. The application is free. If you want to use your iCloud to sync your books to all your devices, you could kind of do that without their help, I know. But if you want it all baked into the application, they, they want £6 off. You just give them £6 if you want to use it, right? But there's no functionality really lost outside of that. It's £6, guys. Come on. Um, I've got some uh, some books here that are in the public domain, so I'm not going to get copyright tech then for showing you. But let's talk about you, mate. The reason I'm making this app early on, this app, this video early on, is because I'm about to plumb in a shitload of ebooks, right? And I don't really want to show you my library, so I'm just doing it now. Well, I've got a few books, well, a modest amount of books in there, right? Um, so let's have a look, shall we? Let's look at Dracula. And you'll see straight away clean, slick ebook interface that lets you just swipe, which is real nice. Let's just a little swipey there, real nice, just swiping my mouse there. Um, it's font's nice, it's got bookmarks, it's got a little note thing, which is state forward text based. And then I've got a button to go back to my library. That's everything you need. Now, this doesn't replace Calib Calibre, Calibre. It doesn't replace the one everyone uses with the, the C one. Calibre, Calibre. I'm saying it right, Calibre. It doesn't replace Calibre because Calibre does a lot of syncing to your, um, if you've got a load of DRM free, DRM free eBooks. I'm just, I'm, I'm a wink, a wink. Uh, if you've got some DRM free eBooks, uh, you've got a lot of them. Then transfer into iPad and stuff is always going to be smoother with Calibre because it's built for that, right? This, if you want to read your ebooks on your, your iPad and on your phone and on your Mac OS and you want a seamless experience, this is it. It's a five hour. It's called Yomu, Y O M U. It's got these options, it's got these options in it, which are very straightforward options, nice toggle switches options. Uh, it's got the purchase thing here. Well, look, I've bought it. It, it was five ninety nine. It's nine ninety nine to give them karma. It's just that's it. This is that's it. It's like, just give some more money if you want, if you really like it. And all you do is you install it on a new thing. You go restore purchase. Done. The purchase appears. It's very easy. I just I bought it on my phone earlier. I just activated it on my iPad and my desktop, laptop. No problems whatsoever. Um, it's got some ebooks. Oh, it's got this weird library thing as well. So you can just take you to DRM free website, which is quite nice. Just download and then get added to your library which is pretty cool um yeah it's i mean there's not a lot to say right it's it's an ebook reader <laughs> it's an ebook reader but it's just really like really smooth let's go some sherlock holmes let's look at some sherlock holmes shall we it's just like that's what you want right i mean that's just what you want there's no faffing and then i know that i'm reading this on my on my computer and then i'll just pick up my tablet and it oh, sorry ipad can't say tablet um pick up my ipad it'll just be there um I really like it. You might, can we get to that website? Does it have a button to get to that website? Does it does it have a website button? It must have a website button, right? It doesn't have a website button. You Yomu Y O M U. You should buy. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description or something. I guess. Um, I'm really yeah. I like I like things that are like cheap and simple, and I like the fact that this this thing here, right? Like I click library and I can click cloud here and I don't know how much I want to share with you guys so I'm not going to click it too much but basically click cloud. It's like you want to plumb into this cloud, that cloud, you want to bring stuff in files as whatever and then it just syncs to iCloud and then your space, your limitations is whatever iCloud space you've got and that's it. Um, it's just, that's it. It's very easy. Um, I really like it. You should, you should, if you read a lot like me and you, you do, and it's weird because my Kindle my every metric I have, my Kindle is a better device, right? It's a much better device by every metric I have for reading, right? However, the iPad is the one that's usually in my hand. Um, so yeah, when I go to work and I want to read a book on my lunch, I'm pulling out my Kindle, right? But if I'm at home, the chances are I've already got my iPad in my hand and it's a perfectly valid device for reading. Now, LCD gives you more fatigue in your eyes, and I'm never going to argue that LCD, or the AMOLED of the new ones, or whatever it is, the new ones, I'm never going to argue that any other than e-ink is good for reading books. I would never make that argument, right? But it's the device in your hand. And if you, have the, if you, don't, have, if you don't have a Kindle, 
you've probably got an iPad. And if you, you know what I mean? Like, like why spend more money, right? That's that's the ultimate thing. Like, if, you, if, you've, if you've got the cash or you've already got one, like e-ink is always better for reading every day of the week. But if you can only afford one device, get the iPad because it does more. Uh, and if you've got an iPad, this is an awesome application. I don't like Apple Books. I feel like everything's too chunky and there's too much going on with Apple Books. Also, I don't like e-readers applications that also have stores built in because I find the store side of it quite distracting and it's nice that I don't have to deal with that with this because it's just, there you go, as your books and no faff. Um, it's in some ways a better reader than Calibre because Calibre is such a heavy interface. Now, I know you can just double click on a book, but I want to look at my library, launch a book, and Calibre's feels a lot more technical and it feels like more of a management tool than a reader's tool to me. So there you go. Yo Yomu. Yo Moo. Y-O-M-U. Give it a try. Hope you like it. Bye. If you do like it, uh, just, just give me a subscribe. Um, it makes you better. Bye.